This is Vince, my dad's 1998 Volvo VNL day cab. Vince has been the pride and joy of JL Kof Trucking for well over a decade now. Vince and my dad have hauled hundreds of thousands of bushels of grain for local farmers. Since Vince has been such a prominent member of the family and just recently had a nice bath, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to make him the first subject of a dig drive DIY equipment spotlight and also share the story of how my dad, a career electrician, retired and became a truck driver. Plus, I'm going to take a turn behind the wheel just to see how rusty I am, or maybe I still have what it takes to get through all those gears. So, stick around. Co dig, drive, DIY. For those of you that are inexplicably drawn to trucks, semis, tractor trailers, big rigs, and 18-wheelers, I get it. I'm one of you too, but I do get it honestly. This is my dad, Jack. Hello. <laughs> You don't say hi, Jack, in an airport. Right. Now, in my family, the call to the big rigs runs a little deeper in the veins than most. For example, on every road trip as a kid, we'd play a game when watching the oncoming traffic of the interstate. The first person that could correctly identify the make and model of the next approaching 18-wheeler was awarded a point. We got really good. We could spot the difference between a Peterbilt, a Kenworth, Freightliner, or any other truck from a remarkable distance, so it was a fun game with Dad and my brothers. I found that the passion for tractors, heavy equipment, and big trucks wasn't merely just boyhood fascination, though. It had to be something genetic, because Dad was the same way, and so were both of his brothers. What he really wanted to do, and what's always been in his veins, it's been in the veins of the Kof men for whatever reason, so, is drive truck. His oldest brother, Jerry, likes driving semi. He did it uh, sort of after he retired. After he retired. And so his brother, Kenny, also drove truck in retirement, right? Drove yep. semi? Yep. Well, he still drives he still maybe driving? once or twice a month. <laughs> Just enough to keep the blood flowing. Well, you tell me. You always wanted to drive truck? Yeah, I did. I've, uh, of course, I drove dump truck. Got started with that in, uh, when I was a junior in high school. Drove during the summer of my junior year and senior year. And then from there I got the bug and I help farmers around running their semis whenever they need it. But the truck driving dreams would have to wait a bit. Soon after high school, Dad entered the electrical trade and began a career as an electrician. 30 years later, with the kids grown up and gone, that truck driving bug started to bite again. He bought a 1981 GMC Brigadier with an all-too-noisy Detroit. It looked a lot like this one, and he named it Jimmy. Quickly, he discovered there was plenty of work hauling grain, so it wasn't long before he wanted something more modern and comfortable. That brought on Frida, an FLD-112 Freightliner. There was also a dump trailer for Frida, which meant she could haul much more than just grain, and so there were lots of new possibilities to explore. Pete the Peterbilt soon joined the fleet and replaced the GMC Jimmy. When not pulling a grain hopper bottom, it was a really nice truck for pulling a low boy, and it helped diversify the workload even more. I was helping with the driving quite a bit back then too, and during harvest we could keep both trucks busy, and it was a wonderful experience getting to be a father and son trucking duo. Finally, in 2008 we found Vince for sale, and being familiar with the previous owners, we knew that the test drive on that day was kind of just a formality. This was the type of truck that you could spend every day, all day in. It was a serious upgrade in many ways from Frida and Pete. Better comfort, great visibility, a smoother ride, catchy looks, more horsepower, and my goodness, look at those stacks. Vince was a game changer and it really helped steer the decision that dad finally made in 2010. Then I got tired of doing 40 years of electrical work so I thought I'd semi-retire and get my own. Semi-retire, pun intended there. So. <laughs> So like he said, he worked 40 years as an electrician, doing mostly commercial stuff. He completely retired from electrical work. Well, at least he retired from getting paid for doing electrical work. And now he would get to realize his passion and drive his own semi full-time as little or as much as he wanted. It's a 98 Volvo, but what? It's a 10-speed? It's a 10-speed. It's got a Detroit M60 series engine in it, running about 435 horse. It's been a super good motor for me doesn't doesn't use any oil 
Uh, I've had very little maintenance on it. Uh, just keep it serviced, and when something goes wrong, I get it fixed, and it's it's been a, a Good nice truck. truck to have. I really liked it. And the one thing that's very characteristic about this truck is that it has straight pipes on it, so <laughs> it's a little noisy. I just live across the field, and I can hear Dad coming several miles away. I can hear the Jake brakes when he's turning off the main highway that's about three miles away. So, so anyway, I want to take a closer look at this truck because it is really cool, and then we'll fire it up. you got to hear this thing run. As I was filming the truck and getting shots of dad driving, it occurred to me that I hadn't had the opportunity to drive Vince in quite a long time. That pesky truck driving bug was itching me really badly now too, so I needed to scratch it again. I'm going to channel my inner Captain Kleeman and see if I can still drive a semi. I haven't driven for a long time. Boy, the clutch is pretty shallow on this thing. New clutch and transmission? Yeah. Turn the left. I had my bit of fun confirmed that I was still worthy of that CDL that I keep renewing every two years, but I wanted to get a little more drone footage before the sun was down, so I handed the reins back over to Dad for the last of the drive home to the barnyard. This has been a great truck for Dad. It's enabled him to fulfill that lifelong passion of trucking and truck ownership. 
See, Dad had patiently waited a couple of weeks for me to get over there and shoot this video. Because now, it was time. They say it doesn't feel like work if you truly enjoy what you're doing, and well, I've never heard Dad refer to truck driving as work. But these days, in these times, struggling to keep the truck busy enough to just pay for itself does feel like work, which makes it feel like the right time to move on to the next phase of retirement. The phase where there are no more early mornings or late evenings. Full-time retirement. Lord knows it couldn't be more well-deserved, Dad. But this doesn't mean the end of truck driving altogether, just the end of the headaches of owning your own. There are plenty of local farmers in the area that can always put a good truck driver to use during harvest, so there's no threat of not being able to scratch that itch whenever it flares up. But for now, we'll just be looking for the next family that wants to adopt my brother Vince. I'll have some info down below if you are genuinely interested. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little equipment spotlight. Let me know if you'd like to see other spotlights on more equipment in the future. Alright, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again. Take care. So, if you're seriously in the market for a truck with a green bucket, this might be a good option. So, hit Actually, me up. Actually, it's a hopper, not a bucket. Oh, hopper, bo hopper bottom. Haven't you ever heard a CB guy say, call that green bucket? All right. Well, thanks for the first ever spotlight, Dad. Well, thanks for featuring the good old Vince. Vince, if you buy this truck, you have to maintain its name, Vince, or else it won't know that it's being called. It won't run right. It won't run right. I've had people just criticize the name, and it quit. It won't work. You call it Vince, and she's on a roll.